Dear Wolf, after living this life as long as I have, there is one thing that I know, and that is people are always changing. The person you think you are at this moment is not the person you will be, nor is it the person you were. This is merely a snapshot in time of a man about to become a father to you. This is my first letter to you, and by the time you read it, I hope you are a healthy young literate boy. Right now, you are still a fetus inside your mother. I think about you all the time. I even thought about you before you were conceived. You were an abstraction then, someone I wanted to meet, but not yet a real person. Right now in my life, I'm 36, and I've been living a pretty normal life for a while now, working, smoking weed, drinking beers, hanging out with your mom, watching baseball games, seeing friends, running and hiking. This is what I want to say to you as my unborn child. First off, for some reason, I already love you. It's hard to explain, but I do. I worry about you and think about you all the time. I think about what kind of man you will become, and I think about all of my mistakes. And I wish I could guide you through life to avoid that pain. But that is not the way life is. When we bring you up in conversation, I always say we cannot make rules or even think about how we should raise you until we meet you, because every person is so different. And there is no single way to raise a man. That said, I have a few shards of wisdom that I would like to pass on to you. If you can only learn one thing from me, it is this: I want you to be happy, and that is no small task. People talk about happiness all the time, but very few people achieve it. It is a lifelong practice in compassion, confidence, and self-understanding. This is something that no man can teach you, that no religion will give you, and that no woman will fulfill. To me, if there is a single life thesis, it is that happiness is not selfish; it is selfless. If you work your entire life at achieving happiness, that is a life well spent. So there you go. There's happiness, and that's something you'll have to deal with on your own. I hope that I too will be happy throughout your life. So I could help show you that door, but for some stupid reason, I see so many parents that are uncool and miserable. I don't know why that happens, Wolf. But just know, at this moment in time, as I sit here at the UCLA library, <laughs> just days before I meet you, I was a happy and cool guy. By the time you read this, I might just be another asshole dad, inflexible and angry. If I'm that, I'm sorry. I also want to talk to you about confidence. You're growing up in a very different world than I had. When I grew up, it was not easy being an Asian man. For some reason, Americans and the American media decided that we are ugly and effeminate. I've been fighting that stereotype my entire life, but I have also fallen into it. There were times I had no confidence. I did not believe I was worthy or cool enough to have friends, to deserve respect, to talk to girls, to have a well-paid job. Wolf, you have to listen to me when I say that what you think of yourself is 99% of the time what other people think of you. I was so happy when I found out you were going to be a boy. I always wanted to raise a boy, but I was also scared for you. It's not easy being an Asian dude. If you were born an Asian girl, all men would desire you. You could navigate this world as an object of desire, but instead you will be an Asian man, often the object of. Rejection and ridicule. Do not let that define you. Walk with your head high, knowing that you are the motherfucking wolf. Another thing I want to touch on is fear. Fear is part of being human. We were designed on the plains of Africa to be skittish, upright monkeys. There will always be fear: fear of the unknown, fear of rejection, fear of dark places, fear of getting lost, fear of being killed. Fear of failure. Most of the time, those fears are unfounded. The world is not a scary place. Let me get that into your head. You have nothing to be afraid of. Fear is the base mind telling the body that there is danger. When we were hunted by lions, that might have made sense, but now it petrifies the modern man from achieving his true calling, and that is to overcome the base mind and reach a higher level of thinking and self-awareness. Life is not an easy journey. I hope that I can be there for you. 
through most of it. But there will come a day that I will not be around or that you've moved on past me. And that's totally fine. I don't want some clingy, fearful boy in my life forever. I want to someday be with your mother again, just the two of us, in love, like the days before you came into being. So Wolf, if you just take away a few things from this writing, it's that I love you and always will. Seek happiness at all costs. Be confident in yourself and fear nothing, for there is nothing to be afraid of. Love your father, Travis Lee.